y'all welcome back to my channel today is a video as you can see from the title it is a very very exciting video for me it is the start of my entrepreneur series here on my channel i do have a business established now um and if you're new here hey my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so this is going to be the start of my entrepreneur series on my channel um i am starting my own business i have started my own business um i do officially have my llc so i'm technically a business owner now <laughs> um just a little bit of a mini backstory you see me in the same attire setting in outfit it's because baby girl i'm getting content done today okay so i'm recording multiple videos in one night <laughs> so yeah anyways i don't know where to start <laughs> i'm so excited okay so i started well i okay i decided that i wanted to be my own boss and start my own business in 2020 like a lot of other people when like COVID hit and stuff but i bought wholesale lashes and i was just going to have like a lash company but i'm like after a couple months and stuff i got to thinking and i did actually create my page and i posted lashes i sold some lashes but after a while i kind of just like stopped like i kind of just didn't like sell anymore um i decided like i still want to be my own boss but i'm like I don't really just want to sell lashes like i definitely love to wear lashes obviously <laughs> but i'm like what is the number one thing that you love like what makes me happy besides like you know like doing youtube videos and stuff like because i'm my own boss with this but i'm like it's hair i do hair reviews on my channel y'all see me do hair reviews i've been doing hair reviews since let me see my um first hair review video was actually very first ever hair review this is going to be embarrassing but it was in my dorm room five years ago i'm gonna link it but i gotta turn down the music because it's going to be copyright this is my first ever hair review video in my dorm room freshman year at arkansas tech university And in this video, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be so freaking cringe. But I posted this literally January 24th, 2007. So I decided that I wanted to sell hair. I am going to be selling raw Vietnamese bundles and mink lashes. Um, mostly my company is solely about hair, um, but I do like lashes. So that is going to be like an added little like luxury or whatever, I guess. But yes so we're going to get into the nitty gritty this video is going to be obviously the first video that i start of my entrepreneur series but this video is going to be maybe less exciting than the other ones to come i say that because this video is going to be solely on the legitimate of the business like the legal side of the business the behind the scenes that a lot of people on youtube do not talk about when i've been looking for this information it is not on youtube obviously nothing is given to you for free but like the basics i would like to freaking know so i am in the state of arkansas so that's going to be definitely different from where you guys are um if you're not in arkansas i do know the fouling um price in arkansas is 45 dollars online and 50 through mail for an LLC, I think ours is by far the cheapest that I've seen. I think Texas is like 300 and I was watching this guy form his business and it was like a hundred and like 20, 130 in the state of Illinois. So yeah, Arkansas, I mean, we don't have anything here. So of course ours is going to be cheaper, but yeah. I did want to start off by saying, um, obviously I don't have a, business like a actual shop or anything so i did have to get a online address the online address that i have i do use anytime um mailbox i'll leave it what it's called yeah anytime mailbox so it's literally an actual place that gives you an address and then they give you like a um, box number so mine would be like one two three four 
Baker Road, Box 2210. And literally, all my mail go there. I literally go pick up my mail. I've sent stuff there. I've actually gotten like mail from my company there. Um, I did want to show you guys that. I'm going to cross out my address. Actually, I think the address is um, public information. So honestly, it really don't matter if I cross it out. <laughs> but yes, AJB Beauty Collection. And I literally sent some like mailers there. Ugh, my dogs want to be up here by me. So yeah, I, um, I sent something there to see if it was legit. It's definitely legit and definitely it's legit. So that was the first thing that I figured I had to do. I had to get a address to form an LLC because I didn't want to use my home address here because it is public record. Anybody can see it. So that's why I didn't use that. So this is horrible lighting because I don't have my stuff on, but I am getting my address notarized. Um, yeah, it is July 6th right now. So I chose driver's license. I'm gonna upload my driver's license. I'm using, um, what website am I using? Anytime Mailbox. So I'm going to scan in my license did that use this photo now the back of my license and i look a mess right now i've been through hell and hot water trying to get my printer up and running and come to find out that i'm just out of ink so that's the back of my license and id join in to be notarized i'll probably put something over the screen finding the next available notary we're connecting you with the notary network it's been a wait time about two minutes hello I can hear you. yes i can hear you okay great <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by verifying your IDs. Can you state your full name and date of birth? Yes, Akira. We've returned your complete document to Anytime Mailbox. Check your inbox for an email to access your document. Um, securely return your signed documents to anyone you'd like. No, let's download these so I can print these out right now. And then I also got the emails right here. And it says, any further information is required, we'll let you know if any more so I'm just gonna go click out of there and then we're gonna go anytime now my stuff is printing and we got one page two pages three and four her name was Abby and I got my address so these are all my legal docs. It's really happening. <laughs> Next, after getting the address, I went to the Secretary of State for Arkansas 
and I was gonna do I was gonna fill it out myself but it kind of got confusing like I didn't know who I wanted for like I didn't know who I wanted to put down for a registered agent I didn't know like I just didn't know so I used Zen Business this is not sponsored whatsoever um, I will put in clips of me actually um, creating my account and actually creating you know signing up to get my LLC I documented all of this so I'll plug it in now and come back Zen Business I decided to go with them to create my um, LLC I could have did it myself but I feel like having this I just want them to do it for me because I really you know is not really sure what I'm doing with all this legal stuff so right here I do know this though your EIN number employee ID number they're charging $70 to do it for you you can go to irs.com and get this done for free so it's just crazy because it's like they really charge us $70 out here for something you can do for free but yeah I just want to say that um, I'm following this guy work from home journey um, he's doing his LLC less than 12 minutes and literally that's what I'm doing so no I don't want them to do my EIN for me I could do that myself would you like to add worry-free compliance for ten dollars a month um, let us help with state compliance and ongoing filing so you stay in good standing with the state throughout the year I kind of want to do this let me see let me do tell me more uh, secure your business donate yeah so the domain name they're trying to charge 25 dollars a year the num the domain shouldn't be over 15 dollars i've seen some for two five ten whatever the case may be so no i'm actually going to be using shopify as my um seller i guess website <laughs> so i already have a shopify account so i can just buy the domain from shopify or i can go to godaddy create a custom website like I said I'm going to use Shopify Shopify already has templates and layouts available for me so I'm going to say no why would I pay $100 for that what would you like your business name to be I do not need to add LLC to it AJ what well, can I get all caps AJB beauty collections oops C L E C T I O N. So, what I'm gonna do next? Ah! Let's confirm your information. Does this look correct? We're going to send this to the state, so make sure that your name exactly matches your government issued ID. So, company's name is AJB Beauty Collection, entity type Arkansas, can be members of can be added after purchased okay account information that's me click chat at the bottom of the page with us estimated formation date is august 1st that's my birthday if you complete your order within the next 46 hours 48 minutes and 52 seconds i will have it on my birthday or by my birthday it's perfect. I wanted my LLC before my birthday. Note that the filing times can vary. Da, 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 da. So today's total is $84. Did you know the formation cost can be tax deductible? The IRS often allows business owners to deduct up to $5,000 in startup costs in the tax year the business open. Cool. Um, today I owe $84. Next year I will be paying $119. With, I'm on like somebody's 20% off coupon thing link. Before this, I would have been paying one ninety nine a year, and then this would have been ninety six dollars. So, um, I will put my referral code down if you want to use my referral code, and then it'll be around the same price depending on your state's filing costs. My state's filing cost is really cheap; it's only forty five dollars. I know some states. I think someone said Texas was like three hundred. I don't know. It's crazy, but I can pay eighty four dollars today, and then next year it'll be that. So I'm gonna take a quick picture of this. Did you know information? just so i can have that you know okay then we're gonna do next thank you <laughs> took that or let's keep the ball rolling finish my formation 
Next up, let's get things done. Here's your next goal, task one, finish your information. You need to finish your information before you can start your business. Take about five minutes. Okay, what company indicator do you want to use? You're required by law to add a company indicator to your business name. It does not matter which option you choose. So pick the one you like best. Oh, okay. We're gonna do LLC. I like the way that looks better rather than L.L.C. And I for dang sure ain't about to type it all out like that. So we're gonna do AJB Beauty Collection LLC. Okay, if your business name is taken, what other names would you like? It's not taken, I've already looked them up and I'm about to buy my domain and stuff, hopefully today or tomorrow. So we're gonna skip that. What does your business do? We need three. Two to three sentences to help us understand what your business is all about. So I'm going to type this in real quickly. Okay, so next I got to enter my business address. I actually have a virtual business. So um, what's this? Okay, so I'm about to look into um, like trademarks and stuff like that. Also, like just all the behind the scenes stuff. So I will get back to y'all once. Um... Once this come back in, I'm going to update y'all, but I'm actually about to co-wash this bundle of hair so I can see how it looks after co-washing because I am going to offer co-washing for my bundles. And after co-washing, I think I'm going to actually bleach a little bitty piece of it to see if it can hold bleach and how light it can lift. So after doing the Zen business thing, um, I do have a referral code though. Um, I use somebody referral code to sign up. Um, it saved me like $25, I think. And then you get like a $25 Amazon gift card or something like that. So I'll put my code down below if you want to use Zen Business. Zen Business was just something that I use because this is my business. This is something that I'm trying to have for the rest of my life. Like this has my name on it. I didn't want to do anything by myself and basically fuck up something, you know? So a lot of people is telling me stuff. I only know two people personally that have their LLC. And I mean... I didn't really get much information from them honestly so i just decided to put it in zen business hands i did the very basic one um and literally just let them handle everything i did do the basic one because they're trying to charge i think like 300 plus dollars for like the all-inclusive package because they're going to do like your ein for you they're going to file your llc get your registered agent yada yada, yada. baby your ein is free on irs.com website or irs.gov website so i literally did my ein after getting my um llc after my zen business after i um did all of that and i paid i think i paid like 82 dollars or something at the time it'll be on the screen i'm not quite sure what i paid um so yeah i do have a certified registered agent um he is I think the city is about like an hour away from me or whatever so i did want to go ahead and get like a register agent because like i said this is my first time ever doing something like this my parents they don't own businesses nothing like this so i don't really have any knowledge from outside rather than what i get from google and other videos like i don't have any one-on-one -on -one advice given to me so i did want to have a professional on my team it's not bad to ask for help it's not bad to have somebody else you know that knows how to do something helping you out so that's why i don't care to hire people to do stuff so i am paying for a registered agent every year through zen business i am glad that it is through zen business because zen business the actual website and stuff once you get on there they actually inform you about a lot of stuff so i am glad i went ahead and did it through zen business so my um business it um got accepted um when did it get accepted excuse me july 14th is when it got accepted he signed it on the 11th so literally it only took after him after zen business sent it to him i think it took him maybe like a day and a half maybe two days to sign this, I mean, I'm in Arkansas. Who is he? Don't got much work to do here, honey. <laughs> Let's be real. So, it got signed within like two days, and I got it back on the 14th. So, it was filed in office on the 11th, and then 
if you guys follow me and follow my business page i will put it right here then you guys saw me post about this on my instagram literally there it is yes ma'am we're official ajb beauty collection llc that is the name of my company akira janae baker it's my name my initials beauty collection so after i did go ahead and submit my stuff to zen business before i actually got it back as accepted i did go ahead and go file for my ein number on the irs website um i do have it printed out getting your ein is super fast um i think the whole process took me like five minutes to fill out so obviously not going to show you what it is i'm not sure if ein is public information or not but it literally just says thank you for applying for the employee identification number ein we assigned you ein blank 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 this ein will identify you your business accounts tax returns and documents even if you have no employees please keep this notice in your records this is what I have to give to the bank and stuff like that, you know, to get a business bank account. I am going to frame this. Um, since I did file online, um, I have to print it out. If I would have filed, if I would have filed by mail, then they would have sent this back to me. But it was kind of like a, um, they sent me a link, and then I'll just download this from the link. So that's that. The other things that I did behind the scenes is i went ahead and got my i don't know if it's pronounced dunes or dunn's number i think dunn's number don't quote me little check off list that i have so i got my llc ein dunn's number i have been had a business email i do have a business address and i do have a business phone number um the other things that i do need to still get is my domain name and i need to buy my shopify i think i'm about to do that this weekend and then i need to trademark my stuff i'm about to trademark my stuff because if y'all saw that one girl on tiktok who somebody stole her stuff and she been in fighting this battle for two years yeah no and then i'm going to open a business bank account and then i'm going to do a big photo shoot and then i'm going to start working on my website i'm going to go ahead and buy my website and stuff and like Shopify is just, I'm not going to actually put anything on it until I start taking official pictures with a photographer. So I am right now working on my net 30 accounts for business credit. Um, I do have five different accounts that I'm going to apply for once I do open up my business bank account. Um, I am going to probably bring y'all along with me. I don't know if I want to do regions or chase. Those are my top two because of where I live. So regions is who I bank with now. I know regions in and out so it'll be easy for me to do different kind of transfers and i mean like i said i just know regions i've been with regions for like four years chase because chase is in i think like 43 states i think google said and you know if i do decide to move if i do travel this and that chase is everywhere we now have i think like four or five chase banks here in arkansas but i think they're literally in like central arkansas so all the Chase banks are within like 10, 15 minutes away from me. And then they're all throughout the U.S. The thing with Regents is Regents is like a Southern bank. So it's in like, I believe it's in Texas, Arkansas, Texas, Tennessee, um, Missouri, I think. It's in like the, like Georgia. It's like down south. Okay, so my mom just called me. <laughs> I don't know where I left off but i think i was talking about banks so chase banks is more global rather than region so i'm still kind of like neck and neck about that but i did want to add in um i started to buy samples so my first sample i received july 7th at like 4 30 this is the sample of the first one i knew i wanted to sell raw hair raw hair is the best hair that you can wear or receive or whatever the case may be um i didn't want anything other than raw hair um i didn't want virgin hair like i don't want anything that's been processed nothing i wanted i wanted it chopped right off their head shampoo condition whatever and then sent to me so this one is from um dang, i can't remember where i got this from i think like something like i queen or something like that i don't know this one was their raw hair but it was their um I, I can't remember what they called it it was something stupid um i still have the sample but i don't know where i put it 
it may still be in my car um i tried to send it back to them because it is not what i wanted um but sending the hair back would have cost more than the actual sample i think the sample with shipping and stuff was only like 70 dollars sending this one bundle back was going to be a hundred and like thirty dollars so i'm like fuck y'all no and they like you got to pay for shipping you know we can't pay like i don't want to work with anybody like that anyway so if i can find the bundle i'll probably add in another clip but i so i look an absolute mess right now i just woke up but i just got my package in the mail this is going to be like the beginning of my little entrepreneur vlogs um we're going to be documenting so this is my first ever like sample of hair um they shipped it out saturday and it is now tuesday evening and i got it so i'm going to just be opening it i am recording off my phone so this is it i'm going to bleach it and stuff like that um probably friday but I just wanted to feel it. I don't know, it just, it's supposed to be 100% raw Indian hair. It's the wavy one, but I don't know because on some of the other like pages and stuff their hair looks really like really unprocessed you know what I mean and I'm getting I just got a piece of hair got another piece of hair I see some fillers, I think. It's like those little gray looking pieces. Like, I don't know if y'all can see, but I see fillers. So, I don't know about this one. It just doesn't look like raw hair to me. I don't know, it seems like it's been, I want mine to be like unstained and everything, like straight off the head. <laughs> so I don't but I did record a little bit of, I did record a clip on my phone, so I'll insert that. But yeah, I didn't like it because for one, I wanted raw hair. This hair had silver and red fillers. Any hair that has a filler is not raw hair and that kind of makes it way more and that's not what i wanted so yeah this one had red and like silver white fillers i don't i don't want it so that's why i didn't go with that um wholesale supplier and then my next one that i found um was a raw vietnamese vendor this is the bundle this is after it's been washed and shampooed and conditioned this one is the bundle that i'm gonna like install on my head to wear once i buy some more because i've been playing with it and running my fingers through it or whatever but this is the bundle um i've had it for like a month and a half now so the wefts are super thick literally thick from top to bottom ends look really good so yeah i'm super excited about this um it is so flowy i am going to offer um hair that's been co-washed so every bundle that you get is going to be washed by me and yeah this is the sample that i decided to go with super cute super flowy like i cannot wait to get this installed okay so i'm trying to think what else because all this stuff has just been happening like over the past two months and i've kind of just been doing everything kind of at once so it's a lot to talk about um i wanted to talk about next my logo so this is the logo that i made myself on canva this is what i was going to go with it's literally 
AJB Beauty Collection. And my colors are neutral colors of like browns and tans and I added black. So this was my very first post, but I took this off because I actually paid somebody to create my logo. It's literally the same concept. It's just a little bit more jazzed up. I will, I'll, I'll put it right here. <laughs> so yeah, I paid, how much did I pay for the logo? $70. This lady was high, I would say like, I didn't want to say hi. I mean, she did wonderful work, but I did find somebody that's cheaper. I will say that because $70, I feel like it was worth $70 because it was damn sure better than what I did or could have done. So I give her her props. Good. I'm not sure if she is in the US or not. I think she might be like from China or something, but that's besides the point. So I paid her to do my um logo. Um, if you want to know who did it, you can go to my Instagram page on my business account and check it out. I really forgot her name, but you can go check out my business page. I tagged her. So, yeah, I did find another girl um, to do my flyers. So basically, like my flyers, that's going to say um, website loading. It's going to say like restock alert. Your orders have shipped. Those type of flyers. I did find somebody. I think she's local and her prices are very, very reasonable and she does wonderful work. So I'm excited to see what she does for me. I don't actually have those right now, but hopefully by the time this video goes out, I will be able to insert them for you. Um, so yeah, I've just been screenshotting a lot of inspo pics of hair photo shoots so that's the next thing that i am going to try to focus on after i finish my business checklist like once i get my trademark i buy my domain name and um my doing business as once i buy that um so yeah i think that's all really the updates that i have for you guys right now like i found my vendor her <laughs> I found my vendor um i believe i found my own like graphic designer i really love her work like i said i'm excited to see what she sends over to me um i have my logo all of the legal stuff is damn near taken care of um so now the only thing really left to do is photo shoot buying inventory um i'm gonna buy satin bags i found this person on etsy and this is how I want my bags to look. I'll probably insert a picture, but I want them to be like that cream white color. And then the little tassel, like the little drawstring part will be brown, like a nude brown or tan, whatever you want to call it. I think that'd be so cute and like definitely right on brand for my brand. So I'm super excited about that. Um, there's two guys that I'm looking into going to for a photo shoot that's here local in Little Rock. Um, yeah, I don't want to give too much away, but I have some new lash box lash boxes that I'm going to buy. Like, I'm very, very excited. This is, it's feeling more tangible now. So, I cannot wait. Um, as far as the launch date, um, I don't want to rush anything. I'm a person that believes in God's timing. Like, I feel like that's why I decided to put it on hold in 2020. Um, because I am now in a place in my life to where I have my dream apartment. I got my dream car as of right now. Um, so I'm living life right now. So I do know I do not want to stay at this hospital for the rest of my life. So starting this business was definitely something that was meant to happen right now. Like I said, everything's got timing. I do. I did plan to launch like right before Valentine's Day. Um, I know it's definitely going to be next year at this point because I'm just not about to start buying inventory in September, October, November. I want to make sure everything's good. So I did want to have everything ready by Black Friday, but I don't think that's going to be reasonable, honestly, because, you know, everything can be perfect. But I do want to have all my ducks in a row. So definitely the beginning of next year, January, February, it's not going to go past February. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm super excited. Thank you guys for watching my first video of my entrepreneur series. Comment down below um, if you have a business or something that you're starting, something that you're thinking of. You can comment down below questions. I will try to answer as much as I can. 
um, if I didn't cover something in this video. But into my next video, my next video will probably be me getting inventory in and like showing um, packaging and stuff like that. Like I do have mailers in there. We'll get to all that stuff later. And then once I actually start doing my business credit, I am going to do a huge like business haul of like all the stuff that I bought for my business to run it from home right now. So yeah, don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe. And into my next video, girl, I will see you then. Bye y'all. Thank you.